Hello, seventh graders. So today we have two probability um, videos. This is the first one. This is handout one, Interactive Simple Probability. This is a review of things we did yesterday. So if you um, had a hard time yesterday, you felt like you really didn't understand it, this is the video for you, okay? The other one is moving on. So let's fill this out together. Interactive Simple Probability. Probability is the likelihood of an event happening, and it's expressed as a number between 0 and 1. We're going to label the terms in the number, number line unlikely, equally likely, impossible, certain, and likely. Okay, so if it has a probability of 0, it is impossible to happen. If it has a probability of one, it is certain to happen. Okay. If it has a probability of one half, it's equally likely that it will or will not happen. And then this, if it's between zero and one half, it's unlikely, but it's still possible. And this is likely, but still possibly not happening, okay? So we're gonna read each example and label it with these terms, impossible, likely, equally, unlikely, likely, and certain. Snowing when it is 40 degrees outside, that is impossible. It cannot happen. Burning your dinner if you cook it too long. That's likely to happen. It's not certain because we don't know how long is too long. It could be just a couple minutes and it's not burnt. But it's likely to happen. Water boiling at 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, that's unlikely. No, it's impossible. Water has to boil at 100 degrees. Getting a ticket if you're speeding. Likely to happen, but not certain. Scoring from a safety in a football game. It's unlikely, but possible. And then a coin landing on heads when it's flipped. Equally likely. Okay. So yesterday we talked about the probability of something happening and the probability of something not happening. The probability of an event not happening is the complement. That's the, that's the math term for not something. So we'll go over that, but simple probability is the ratio of um, wanted outcomes to the total number of outcomes. Okay. The probability of the event not occurring is the complement. And the probability of the event and its complement have to have a sum of one. Okay, so let's say you have um, let's say you have five candy bars, and three of them are Snickers, and two of them are Reese's cups. Okay. The probability of getting a Snickers, so I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a new notation, probability of a Snickers is 3 out of 5. The probability, so the probability of not, that little thing right there means not, a Snickers. The probability of a Snickers is 3 out of 5. The probability of not a Snickers is 2 out of 5. And so we can check that because we will know that the probability of a Snickers 
and the probability of not a Snickers has to add up to one. So three fifths plus two fifths equal five fifths. That's one. Okay. What is the probability of choosing a marble with stripes? Um, looks like just one. So one out of five. A probability of not diamonds. So P is probability. That little guy right there means not, not diamonds. So it's one, two, three. Three out of five are not diamonds. What is the probability of spinning a W? Okay. Well, there is one W. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. So the probability of a W is one out of seven. This says the probability of not a vowel. Okay. So which ones are not vowels? One, two, three, four, five. So there are five ones that are not a vowel. So the probability of not a vowel or the complement of a vowel is five out of seven. Some more practice here. A standard number cube is rolled. What is the probability of rolling a six? The probability of rolling a six is one out of six because there are six numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six on a six-sided dice, and one of them is six, so one out of six. A five, one out of six because there are six numbers. And what's the probability of an odd number? Odd, odd, odd. So there are one, two, three odd numbers. So the probability of an odd number is three out of six or one out of two. Excuse me, I had a sneeze. A laundry basket has 26 socks in it. Six are navy, six are black, and the remaining are white. What is the probability of drawing a black sock? Well, we need to know the total. The total is 24. And there are 10 black, so 10 out of 24, or that re can reduce to 5 over 12. What's the probability of a white sock? Okay, so we don't know how many white socks there are, but we know that 6 are navy and 10 are black. So that's 16. There are 16 not white, so 24 minus 16, and that's going to be 8. So 8 are white, 8 out of 24, 24 is the total. So that's going to be 1 out of 3. And the probability of a navy sock, there are 6 navy, 6 out of 24, or 1 out of 4. The spinner below is spun. What is the probability of spinning not a six? Okay, well, let's see. There's seven total, and not a six means that there's going to be six out of seven, right? Because there's seven total. Okay. What's the probability of a three or a four? So these are the ones we want. Um, we want two out of seven. So if the probability of rolling a three or a four, there's two ways to land out of seven. And the probability of an odd number, one, two, three, four. There are four odd numbers, so four out of seven. Twelve. The letters in the bag spell the letters in the word soccer are put into a bag and drawn randomly. What is the probability of, of choosing a vowel? O and E. So that's two out of one, two, three, four, five, six. Two out of six or one third. 
of a constant. One, two, three, four. There's four constants and there's six total, so four out of six, or two-thirds, which makes sense because all the vowels plus all the constants, consonants need to add up to one. So this would be three over three or six over six, and that means that the total is one, 100% 1 of the ways. Letter C, there are two letter Cs in soccer, so two out of six or one third. At the pediatrician's office, patients are able to draw a toy from a toy bin. The toy bin has 12 puzzles, 16 boxes of crayons, and two bouncy balls. What is the probability of drawing? Well, we got to get our total. So 12 plus 16, that's going to be 28, 29, 30. So anything but a bouncy ball. There's two bouncy balls. So anything but a bouncy ball has to be 28 out of 30, which can reduce to 14 out of 15. A box of crayons. There are 16 boxes of crayons. So that would be 8 out of 15. And a puzzle. There are 12 puzzles. So 12 out of 30. And that would be 6 out of 15. In the movie drawer, there are 7 action movies. Five comedies and three dramas. What is the probability of, of choosing a drama? Well, first thing we need to do is figure out the total. Seven and three is 10 plus five, so that's 15. 15 total, a drama. There are three dramas, so three out of 15 or one out of five. Anything but a comedy. There are five comedies, so everything left over is 10 out of 15 or two out of three an action there are seven action movies so seven out of 15. last question students are standing in line for lunch were surveyed about their favorite meal their responses are shown below if one student is picked randomly then which of the following is true okay what's the total Oh, this is 26 plus 16. That's 12, 2, 3, 4, 42. 42 plus 8 is 50. Okay, 50. The student's favorite meal is half as likely to be pizza than spaghetti. Half as likely to be pizza. Well, that doesn't make sense because there's more pizzas than spaghetti, so that can't be it. The student's favorite meal is more likely to be fajitas than pizza. Well, that doesn't make sense because pizza is 26 and fajitas is 16. Okay. The student's favorite meal is twice as likely to be spaghetti than pizza. Well, that doesn't make sense either because more people like pizza than spaghetti. So I'm, I'm hoping that D is correct, but let's check. The student's favorite meal is twice as likely to be fajitas than it is spaghetti. Well, fajitas is twice as big as spaghetti, so yeah, that makes sense. Awesome. D is our answer. For homework, you guys do have this handout here, okay, just to get some practice, some more practice, okay. And there's another video that you should watch about sample space for today. You guys, thanks and have a great day. Let me know if you have any questions.